Welcome to our lecture online. Here's the same integral that we saw in the previous video, the integral of 1 over the cosine of x, but we're going to do it in a slightly different way. Actually, when you see through it, it's actually virtually the same way, but without changing the 1 over cosine of x. We're going to take this integral and simply multiply it as follows, times 1 over the cosine of x plus the tangent of x in the numerator and 1 over the cosine of x plus the tangent of x in the denominator. So when we do that, we get the following. So this becomes equal to, when we multiply this times the numerator, that will be the integral of 1 over the cosine squared of x plus the tangent of x divided by the cosine of x. And then, of course, that's divided by 1 over the cosine of x plus the tangent of x, and of course we need a dx. And again, you may look at that and go, wow, that didn't seem to help me very much, but if we do the following thing, if we let u equal the denominator, which is 1 over the cosine of x plus the tangent of x, then we can find du. So du will be equal to the differential of this and the differential of that. So we're going to use the quotient rule here. And of course the tangent of x, we can replace this by the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. So when we do that and we use the quotient rule, we have the denominator, cosine of x, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 0, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is minus the sine of x. And the whole thing divided by the denominator squared, which is the cosine square of x. Let's see that I leave myself enough room. Well, well, let's see. We take the derivative of this, which is the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, which is the cosine of x, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, which is the minus sine of x, all divided by the denominator squared, the cosine squared of x, and of course I need a dx there as well. So I need a dx. And simplifying this, this is 0, this is the sine of x divided by the cosine square of x, and here this would be plus in the numerator, we get 1 divided by the denominator, which is the cosine square of x. And the whole thing times dx. So what we did here is we let the denominator equal u, and then we're hoping that we'll get the numerator when we find the du. Now notice we do have a 1 over the cosine square of x, which is here. We have the tangent of x divided by the cosine of x. Well, we have the sine of x divided by the cosine, which is the tangent, and 1 over the cosine, which is 1 over the cosine here. So this is exactly what we have in the numerator, just like we saw in the previous video. That means that this can now be written as the integral of du over u, which means that if we integrate it, we get the natural log of u plus the constant of integration. And since we let u equal 1 over the cosine of x plus the tangent of x, this can be written as a natural log of 1 over the cosine of x plus the tangent of x plus a constant of integration. And then finally, 1 over the cosine can be written as the secant of x. So this is equal to the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x plus a constant of integration, which is the exact same result that we got on the previous video using a slightly different method. And so that's how we find the integral of 1 over the cosine of x.